Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you are trying to have a conversation with the chatbot, but it just doesn't seem to get you? And you feel like your conversations with chatbots are unproductive. It can be so frustrating when your questions are met with irrelevant responses, leaving you confused and even unsure of the right prompt to use. Well, you are not alone. Recently, prompt engineering has become an increasingly popular word since ChatGPT have taken the world by storm. But why is prompt engineering so important? Well, think about it this way. The more specific and focused your prompt is, the easier it is for ChatGPT to understand what you are asking for. And the easier it is for ChatGPT to understand what you are asking for, the more accurate and relevant each response will be. And the better you are at getting the most out of the chatbot conversation. It's kind of a win-win situation, right? In fact, in the future world, where communication with chatbots becomes increasingly important, many have pictured that the best skills to acquire in a modern world is not to have a specific domain knowledge, but rather to have a great skill to talk to chatbots and get the most information out of it. And the good news is that with the right skills, you can unlock a world of knowledge and information like never before from chatbots. Always remember this, the input prompt you use in ChatGPT will always have a major impact on the output you receive. It's simply garbage in and garbage out. So the prompt you give ChatGPT will determine the type of response you will get. In other words, prompt engineering is all about getting the most out of your chatbot conversations. That's why in today's video, I will show you 5 best ChatGPT prompts that will help you to unlock the power of ChatGPT. But before we go on, I will appreciate if you will like and comment on this video because it helps with the algorithm so YouTube can show it to more people who might need it. That said, let's get right into this, okay? The first on the list is to give instructions to ChatGPT. Here, you basically tell ChatGPT exactly what to do. You could say, write a product description about, you now put the particular product name, right? For example, you could say, write a product description about air fryers and ChatGPT will generate the response for you. And you can go on and on to give it instructions and it will generate responses for you. As you can see here, it's generating a product description about air fryers. Easy peasy, right? Another best ChatGPT prompt you can use is a formula called example following. Here, you basically give ChatGPT an example of the kind of output you want it to produce for you. And you will then ask it to generate an output similar to that form. For example, let's say you want to sell air fryers with ads. You can simply go to Amazon, Shopify, Jumia or any other e-commerce website and get a good air fryer product description. And then you show ChatGPT the product description and ask it to generate another product description description similar to that one. You could simply say, here is a good product description. Write one like this about air fryers. Look at this. Can you see the response ChatGPT is generating for us? Absolutely incredible, isn't it? If you are already getting impressed by this, well, let me tell you this, that this is just the most basic prompt that you can actually use here. Wait till you see the last prompt. But for now, let's go to prompt number three, which is clearly states your intentions. ChatGPT is great at intents, right? So use that. Introduce what you are trying to do clearly from the beginning and play around with wordings, things, and approach. You can try something like, today we are going to write and you not fill in the blanks, right? Or you can say something like, we are trying to write and you fill in the blanks and we did like your input. Putting an umbrella of intent over what you are doing is always useful. And playing around with different ways to do that can make a very big difference. So you can say something like, we are trying to write a 500 word blog post about health benefits of exercise and we did like your input. The next best ChatGPT prompt is something that I found highly useful, especially when writing my social media posts, blog posts or coming up with content for my social media accounts. This is probably one of the best prompts out there and it's called assigning ChatGPT a role to model. This might seem trivial, but I think it's quite important at least. This has been helping me to get better responses from ChatGPT. My goal with this prompt is to create a contest by assigning a role for ChatGPT to model. And the model is kind of an expert in a field. So let me show you what I mean by assigning a role to ChatGPT. So here we go. You are an expert copywriter and you have been helping business owners and entrepreneurs with writing compelling sales copies that help them sell out their products. And you have been doing this for 30 years. Okay, so this is our expert, right? Expert copywriter. So this sets like the contest 
what kind of field you are trying to assign to ChatGPT, right? And the next instruction you will now give ChatGPT is to write a compelling sales copy to sell out to your air fryers. And your target audience for these air fryers are ladies between age 25 and above who are health conscious. Oh my goodness, like, can you see the quality of the sales copy it has generated for us? In fact, let me just scroll down so you can see it because I'm just short of words, honestly. It just addressed almost all the objections that might come up. Because remember, I told you to target, you know, ladies between 25 years and above who are health conscious. And it even went ahead to talk about health conscious ladies, telling them the reason why they should actually get the air fryer. Because it allows you to cook your favorite food with little to no oil, cutting down on calories and unhealthy fats but it's incredibly easy to use simply place your food in the basket set the temperature and time and let the air fryer do the rest and you see it even gave them tips on how to use the air fryer it even went ahead to talk about busy women like it's using the call out method you know called out busy women that will just want to prepare something for the family as fast as possible right you can see how powerful this sales copy is just because of the prompt i use look at the last paragraph investing in our air fryer is an investment in your health awareness it just captured every single thing i needed to say in this sales copy don't settle for unhealthy fried food when you have the same delicious taste with our air fryer join our many satisfied customers who have already made the switch to healthier cooking with our air fryer this is so so wonderful and that is why using the right prompt actually helps you to get the best from ChatGPT. you can go ahead and assign other roles to ChatGPT. you can say you're an expert doctor you're an expert engineer you're an expert lawyer do you understand just assign a role to ChatGPT before giving it instructions to follow and you'll be able to get 20 time more quality responses from ChatGPT. The next best ChatGPT prompt I find really useful is to end your prompt with let's think step by step. This technique as simple as it is can make a massive difference in the kind of output it will generate for you. For example, we are going to give ChatGPT this prompt. How does exercise affect health? In the first prompt, we won't put let's think step by step. In the second prompt, we will put let's think step by step and then we will now compare the two and see if they there is any difference so let's start with the first one which is what how does exercise affect health okay so this is a response it's a generators for us when i use the prompt how does exercise affect health so let me just scroll down so you can see it very well so the next thing we're not going to do is this we are going to use the same prompt but then we will not add less things step by step so let's just do it right now so now in this particular prompt i've added less things step by step remember it's the same prompt the only difference is that i added less Thing step by step and then we can now compare the two responses to see if there is any difference okay so here is the output it generated for us when i used less things step by step can you see the massive difference look at it here can you see the massive difference in the response from charge pc when i used less things step by step i use the same prompt but i just use less things step by step can you see for example it just started explaining it for me so it will tell me how exercise affects health and then now explain it for me step one exercise can help Help with weight management. Now started explaining every single thing for me. It now went to step two. Exercise can improve cardiovascular health. It now started explaining everything for me. Step number three. Exercise can help manage chronic conditions. Can you see what is happening here? Because I asked it to think step by step, it's now explaining it for me. It's giving me an in-depth explanation on how exercise can really affect health. Now let's compare this result with the other response it generated for us when we did not use less things step by step. So can you see the difference here? In this particular one, when we did not use less things step by step it just listed it and then gave us just one sentence explanation of it Did not give us an in-depth explanation how it will actually affect health but when we now use less things step by step then it now started to explain it for us and give us an in-depth explanation on how it actually affects health can you now see that there is a massive difference between the one we put less things step by step and the one we didn't use less things step by step almost as if by magic from simply adding this additional text to the prompt that gpt gets the content to help it extract more accurate responses. So have you seen it now? To get more accurate answers in ChatGPT, you can just use this super prompt hack. Just end your prompt with less things step by step and you will see the kind of quality response ChatGPT will generate for you. If you found this video useful, then you might consider clicking on the video on the screen right now to watch the next video on ChatGPT prompt engineering hacks you need to check out. And if you found this video helpful, then make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel, then enable your notifications so you don't miss out on any any video I post on this channel. See you next time. Bye.